Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is Final Cut Pro for beginners or for those moving from iMovie to Final Cut Pro as your new editing tool. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is picture in a picture. We're gonna grab a piece of media here. We're gonna drag it into the timeline just like iMovie. Let me go ahead and turn the volume down here. Next, you're going to find your clip that you'd want to put on top of that. You'll drag that on top in the timeline. Again, just like iMovie. The only difference here is to make this picture in a picture, we're going to have to shrink the size of this video here. And you do that by going to this drop down and clicking on transform. Okay, transform on, transform off. Then you get your little tools here that you can actually reduce increase, rotate, or whatever, the size of your second layer or that picture in a picture layer. And again, just like iMovie, the layer on top is gonna show up first. So it's like the layers of a cake or something, the top you see, and but there's also things at the bottom. And to make them picture in a picture, you just shrink the size and you can move them around. Okay, let's make this look a little better. So what you're gonna do here is click on the second icon here for the effects browser. And let's put a border. And what we're gonna do is, it's called a simple border. S-I-M-P-L-E. We're gonna grab this, we're gonna drag it over here on top. And it's gonna apply a simple border. So to change the look and feel of this border, you're gonna to need to open your inspector here by clicking on this icon here. And now that simple border has a nice little toolbar here that you can control. Let's go ahead and expand this here. So you have the control of the width, we'll do that. And let's change this color. We have the control of the color. We'll make it yellow so you can see it. Again, width, bigger, smaller. And then you can control colors or the opacity of it. And to be honest, the only thing I use is the width and the color. I don't mess with anything else. Okay, so now we have a border. Let's add a little drop shadow here. So we'll go ahead down here, type in drop, look for that, drag it on top of the clip, and it's gonna apply a little drop shadow. And the same thing in your inspector here, you have a nice little section where you can control the properties of that tool. And you can turn it off and on by unchecking and checking. So that's really handy. You can put something on, take it off, Kind of mess around with it to see how you like it. You control the opacity of it, the actual blur, kind of the look and feel, the position of it. You can change the properties, the perspective, how much perspective, the angles, and all kinds of other stuff you'd like to do with that. So basically, you can make a nice little picture in a picture frame with a shadow here. So that's how you do that. Now, the limitations of iMovie would stop you there. You have no more layers you can do. But with Final Cut Pro, we can put as many layers as we want. So let me go ahead and resize here so I can show you what it's going to look like with more and more layers on top. So let's just drag some pieces of everything here. There. There. A little bit. A little piece of that. And again, every layer that's on top is gonna to cover the other layer. So what we're gonna to have to do is resize all of these. Let's get our cursor there. Let's resize this one. Let's resize this one. You'll notice I'm starting to have a lot of different video clips being in a picture in a picture. So again, you can do multiple, multiple things here. So you can put borders on all of them. If you like, you can do whatever you want, really. And move them around, change the colors, rotate them, control the size, flip them. You know, pretty much anything you want to do with them. You can do as many layers as you want here, yeah. And just remember, your base clip at the bottom, anything above it covers that section of it. So if it's a full clip, you won't see picture in a picture. You'll have to reduce the size so you can actually see things that are behind it. So that is actually how you do picture in a picture in Final Cut Pro. It's really simple. Just imagine, you know, iMovie on steroids is what we're dealing with here. Of course, iMovie is free, comes with your Mac. 
And Final Cut Pro is $299, but there are thousands, hundreds or thousands of features, and you can just take your editing skills and your presentation of the video to that next level. And I highly recommend it. If you're going to be editing a lot of movies and you keep bumping up against the limitations in iMovie, get Final Cut Pro. 100% recommend it. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial. We'll see you in the next one. And as usual, peace, aloha, all that jazz. Talk to you next time.